these are Karens who were caught in the act on these doorbell cameras when they didn't know they were being recorded. Let's have a look. Okay, so this lady was washing her car on the driveway and her neighbor who happens to be a Karen came over to confront her. The Karen had a problem because the water from her hose had actually dripped into her property line and she was going to call the authorities on her stating that it's illegal for her to put water on her property. Let's have a look. Keep the water off my driveway. There is no water. Oh, are you serious? Yes, there is. No, it's not. water. I just yes, sprayed off my mat. Walk down there and you'll see it. It's what? And it ruins your driveway. That's you just I got water on your driveway. Is that going to ruin it? I'm doing it. I can do what I want on my driveway. It's my property. That's you know, so you run over for your dog. Do you not understand the word trespass? Oh my gosh. Then call the cops, Barb. Call oh, I, don't, I don't have to call the cops. There's rat poison in my yard now. Oh, great. So I hope they run over there again. I hope so, too, because now I have that all on recording, and when they do run over there and die, it'll be your fault. Well, I put it there for the rat, but if your dog get into it, it's not my <laughs> You dog. literally just threatened me, and I have it on, like, I have it on I'm recording. I'm threatening you. You are threatening me. I have better I'm things to do than deal with this. Just, you need to, right like, you need to leave us alone. Well, yeah, now you're trying to cover your... I don't have time for this. I have better things to do. Please do not speak to us. I have no patience for this. Yeah. I don't go your on your fucking driveway. I have my own driveway to go on, Barb. There's water. I'm oh my god! I like. I will literally take the hose and spray it on your driveway. What is like? What is the big deal? This DoorDasher was delivering the food and realized upon delivery that she did not receive a tip. For this reason, she called out the customer for not tipping before handing over the food and then realized that the money wasn't even worth it without the tip. So instead of giving the food to the customer, she threw it all over her lawn. Let's have a look. Are you, are you supposed to pay me? I paid you the app. This is not saying anything about payment. I already paid. It just says, it says zero. It, it says that you left nothing. It's probably the tip. Yeah. I didn't do it. Can I have my food? Yeah. Mommy! What? She just brought the food on the ground! Why? Right. Somebody didn't see it! Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes! Imagine having property stolen only to review the doorbell camera and realizing it was your next door neighbor. That's exactly what happened when they caught the thief next door, taking their belongings. It turns out it was the daughter of the dad that lives next door, who brought her daughter back in shame and humiliation, and came up with every excuse in the book. Let's have a look. Bella was warned many times she was caught stealing my package. Right here. I will stand right here, but I'm not bringing it because I didn't steal it. They have you on camera. I'm not dumb. I don't believe you. Hey. 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 She, well, they did open it. Yeah, we did open it, but I promise you it wasn't. We were not trying to steal it. They have you on camera! This angry neighbor had a problem with her neighbor's cat and decided to confront her for it. She sat there pressing the doorbell repeatedly for minutes on end and then refused to talk to the owner through the doorbell because she was so heated she wanted to get confrontational about it. Instead of politely telling her that her cat is being mischievous and running around the neighborhood creating a muck, she wanted to take her anger out on the owner of the cat who fortunately didn't open the door for her which only made this Karen even angrier. Let's have a look. Open your door. What do you want? Um, I want to talk to the grown-up who lives here. Why? What happened? Answer the door. What happened? Answer the door. No, I don't even know who I'm you are. I'm your neighbor. Is something yes. wrong? Oh, well, can you tell me what it Open is? Open the door. I really don't want to open the door um, and let you calm down. Open the door. I'm sorry. Who 
on. Can you just tell me if something went wrong or yes. something happened? I'm not aware. There is something wrong. Made you angry. Who are you? Well, can you tell me what? You're the mother of this house? I'm the mother of this house. Great. Well, we've never met, so let's meet. If your cat doesn't stop pissing and eating and biting all of the things at my house when I don't own a cat and you do, I'm going to get the police involved because I am fed up. My son is very allergic to cats. Your cat will not stay out of my yard, my house, my garage. He gets into my house. Keep your cat. It's your cat. I've already met your husband about it. It's your cat. Yes, you do, and you don't keep any of them inside. Keep your cat inside. Your orange cat. If you would open the door, I can show you. Your cat doesn't want to come to my house either. But you know what? That's fine. We can go ahead and get the police involved. That's totally fine. This crazy Karen decided to harass her neighbors early in the morning while they were sleeping. The reason being is that she needed help with her computer and thought that she should introduce herself to her neighbors by waking them up and asking if they could get out of bed to help her with her computer. This was obviously not going to happen, which really upset the Karen, so let's have a look. Hi, do you live here? Yeah, I live here. Okay. Um, are you any good with computers? We're in bed. Are you, can I come up? No, we're in bed. Oh, you're inside. I thought you said you were outside. Um, do you have time to come over and help me with it? If you don't, I'm just going to have to wait tomorrow and go to Best Buy or something. So it's up to you. But I've got, I'm waiting for an MRI to be scheduled with my head since I probably broke my nose and shoved it up into my head. Um, Can we do this tomorrow? It's like 3.30 in the morning. Um... Yes, I'll get up and do that with you at 3.30 in the morning. No, it's 3.30 in the morning right now. Can, can we do this tomorrow? Yeah. Yes, we can do it tomorrow. I can just take it so much more. It's okay. fine. I'm not trying to be a pain in the ass. I just hate computer stuff. And we're getting the kinks worked out of mine. It's new software, new... Um, hard drive, new everything. I'm way behind the time. So, we'll, I'll just okay. wait. Okay. Let me, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to call someone. Okay. All right. This neighborhood association, Karen, decided to confront this neighbor who had a political sign on their lawn. She didn't agree with her political beliefs, and instead of telling her or ignoring her about it, she decided to bring out the sanction that says that she can't legally have that on her lawn, and wanted it gone immediately. When the homeowner wouldn't even answer the door for her, this sent this Karen into a total meltdown, and made her even angrier. Let's have a look. Yeah, I want to talk to you. This is Zelda. I want to show you something. I'm sorry, I can't come to the door right now. The, get out your neighborhood by law. It's section 5.20. No sign shall be in the yard. If you don't take this Harris Biden down, yes. I will right sue here. you. And I was going to have you sell my house, 
But that's not going to happen now, and you're going to lose a lot of business because of this. You get out your neighborhood association bylaws, section 5.20. This store dasher wasn't happy with receiving no tip for delivering the food, so she decided to confront the homeowner about it. She went on a rampage about how she doesn't make enough money and deserves her tip, which the guy wouldn't give her, which only made her even angrier. After berating the customer for quite some time, she decided to take the food back with her, simply leaving the man without the food and hungry. Let's have a look. How you can leave it, thank you. I'm sorry? I need to speak to you. I don't think you realize where they're coming from, so I need to speak to you. Where what's coming from? Where the food you ordered is coming from. I don't think you realize the distance that it's come from, because then you would never actually have given what you gave. So I think you can come and face to face because I drove 40 minutes I drove 40 minutes and it was extremely far and I got it to you early so I don't think you realize where you work from Mother. I'm not I don't understand um you well I think it's from where from the restaurant that you ordered from do you realize how far it is do you realize you ordered from Carmack and you're in Smithtown that's a that's a 15 20 minute drive. It's not. You need to try to drive it. I just drove it. It's 40 minutes. It's it's 12 and a half miles. So I don't think you realize how far it is. So but what I do think you have to pick up if you think it's that far. I they don't let us know how far. So I think you need to adjust your tip to make it right. How much is the tip? You gave an eight dollar tip. This Karen neighbor from hell decided to wake up this man while he was sleeping to complain about the car on the driveway. She claims that this car on the driveway is always leaking oils and such, and for this reason wanted it gone and fixed immediately. The owner of the vehicle claims that there's no leaks and she's simply complaining about nothing, and she's also not even his neighbor, she lives down the street. Let's have a look. Oil sweep for the we haven't time. been. I haven't been doing, doing anything. You don't have to do anything. Your car's leaking oil. It's My oil. car is not Come leaking oil. Come and look at it. I sent you a picture. That's so, water. That's not water. That's oil. It's not. We stepped in it. We tracked it up and down and into my house, man. I keep telling you, so now you're going to park up there closer to my house where I go through the back, and you're going to put oil there, where too? I, where am I going to park? I've been parking the same. Park right here. Dude, park right here. I don't here. park there. You I'm live sorry. here. I don't. Park here. I, you live here. I've been parking the same park for nine years. I don't care. You know, the reason you're parking there is because you want to be stubborn about no, it. No, I'm not. I parked no, before, you, before you moved here. I, I've, my car been there. You, you red dude. I've lived there. I've been property taxes there, man. I've been How do you want to compare that? Yeah. Okay. I got you, Rob. This is going to get a lot worse for you, Rob. Thanks for watching, guys, and if you've enjoyed the episode, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.